Have you always dreamt of creating your artistic vision with AI tools, but the tools are just too many, too complex, and the install process is crushing your soul? What if I told you there's a tool out there that is simple and playful to use and can do it all? I will show you that tool today. Let's get started. So that tool is called Full Journey. It's free to use, super simple. Let's look at some samples first. So now we are in the music section where you can type slash music and then request any kind of music you want. I was asking for some Indian Bollywood movie music. So let's listen to that. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. Here we have She's a Lady, Tom Jones, Las Vegas style dinner and shows. Oh. Show, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm, really like that. That's really nice. Music, no smiling. Let's listen to this. Also very nice. It sounds like a song I know, but a lot of songs sound very similar. Very nice summer feeling, very good. One of the things that I like here, going to pages like Artlist and other pages that have music is such a pain because you have to spend so much time finding the music and then often doesn't even fit what you were looking for. So here you can describe what you want to have. Is it a vlog? Is it a nature video? Is it a dramatic film scores? And then the AI is creating something for you. You can get something really good. These are 30 seconds long. Now, when you cut videos, you will see that most of the scenes you're doing are not 30 seconds long. So this is more than enough. This has huge potential. So here we are in the sound effect section. Again, the thing is when you try to search something like that online, it can be cumbersome to find the right thing. So let's listen to the first one here. <laughs> oh man. All right, all right, that that was me. That was the sound effect of a wet fart. Here we have a slow rumble and crumble. Let's hear that. That is good. Yeah, I like that. So this is when you, for example, you have these kind of spaceship sounds, stuff like that, an atmospheric sound in the background. That is pretty good. That is very nice. So here we have some cafe ambient sound in the background with all of the people. That is pretty good. If you record a video or like a short film, stuff like that, what you want to have is at the location as little sound as possible. So often when you see a crowd in the background of a movie, they talk and walk around and do stuff. All of that is completely quiet. Nobody's talking, nobody's saying anything. This is then added afterwards as a sound so that the voices of the actors are as clear as possible. So these kind of sound effects are actually very needed for these kind of productions. Another thing you can do here is to create, for example, drum sounds. So here I ask for a 909 drum kick. Let's listen to that. You can, of course, then layer that, adjust it afterwards, but you get a drum kick and that's the important part here. That's pretty amazing. So this is the text to speech area. You can put a voice to that. You type the name of that voice, in this case, minus Bruce at the end of your text. So this is what it sounds like. In a world where socks disappear and keys teleport, meet the absent-minded Avengers. They may save the day if they can remember where they left their superhero costumes. Wow. <laughs> Did you hear that? The how animated the voice was like really like for a movie trailer. Nice deep voice, really rich, very expressive. Let's listen to that again. One second. In a world where socks disappear and keys teleport, meet the absent minded Avengers. They may save the day if they can remember where they left their superhero costumes. 
Oh, nice. The intonation, taking breaks, the speech rhythm, really nice. But I did some experiment here. So here we have some question marks at the end of the text. And then we have some exclamation mark with the other text. Let's see how it handles this. Is it a good idea? Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> again, again. Is it a good idea? Yes, yes, it is. That is really good. So it understood the first one is a question, ex expressing it like a question. Here I have the question first and then a really long drawn out yes. So I want to see how that sounds. Is it a good idea? Yeah. <laughs> of course. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. The of course is coming pretty late. Let's, let's hear that again. Is it a good idea? Yeah. And here, I also have a female voice, Victoria. Let's listen to this. He's not your average garden gnome. He's Norman the Gnome Lord. It sounded a bit more like AI, but nice. The text, by the way, have been written by ChatGPT. So now we are in the deepfake section. And what this is doing is not putting a face onto a video. Instead, you upload an image of a face and then also a voice file. And this will animate the face to it. Let's look at this example by another user. Greetings, dear Earthlings. I stand before you as a representative of a distant world driven by a single purpose, peace and love. Let our differences unite us, for in unity we shall flourish. That is pretty amazing. Like the quality is a little bit low, but the animation of the face, the expressiveness, the mimic, the acting that is in there is really nice. Now, one thing I would suggest to you here, if you want to use it for a video project, is to crop out the face like this. So you have only the hat and have this animated and then afterwards scale it down and put it in the video you actually want to use like that. You can have a higher resolution full scene and an animated face in the middle. How cool is that? So now we are in the video generation section and this has some advanced abilities. I want you to pay attention to this clip right now by another user. These are different scenes in the same clip and music on top of that. So you can actually generate with one prompt different video scenes and have everything of that together in one clip generated for you. That is already a look into the future of generating movies based on a prompt. Now, when we look in the section for the video commands, you can see that this has a lot of abilities. And I think that this goes further than any other video AI I have seen out there. So let's talk a little bit about the technicalities behind that. So of course, you need to join their Discord server. I have the link below the video. For that, you can either use the browser version of Discord or what I would suggest to use to download Discord either to your computer or to your phone because it makes it a little bit easier to use everything and then join their Discord server there. Now on the left side, you see here a lot of different rooms. And one thing I want to suggest to you is to look up here for the server commands. These are lists where you can look through how it is actually to be used. So here's a little bit of a help guide. And then you have the different video commands. This also gives you a good overview of the abilities you have that you can play with to create videos and what type of videos you can create. So when we look at this, you can see you can generate a video here. You can generate batch video also. Then you have raw batch video. You have movie. This is, I think, what we have seen right now. This generates a AI movie with audio and visuals from the text entered. Then the deep fake we have already seen. Down here, you also have additional commands like zoom out, zoom in, pen left to right, pen right to left. So this already gives a lot of the techniques that are used for film creation. And this allows you to do directing with the videos. Now, I would say that is truly some next level stuff, my friends. Then you have the same for the image commands. You see here, there's a lot of things you can do. There's also a describe function, by the way, you can upload images and get a prompt from the image and other things like upscaling. And you have also different kind of fill. For example, you can extend an image like outpainting, basically fill tall, fill white, fill both. There's a lot of ability this platform has. And then also you have here the audio commands and also a list of the different voices that you can use and how to use them. 
them, like I said, at the end of your text, you want to put minus and then the name of the voice, like for example, Tyson, Biden, Trump, and so on. You want to go into these different rooms. You see here on the left side, video generation, music, speech and cloning, sound effects, image generation, and so on. So for example, for music, you go in here, you type down here slash music. This is also suggested to you, so you can click on that and then you simply write your prompt. Now, for example, if you go to deepfake, which is down here, when you click on that, you will write deepfake. You have it here. And this is asking for, of course, a image file and then also for a audio file that you want to use here to upload both of them together. And then this is starting to render this together. This doesn't need a prompt because it's only applying the face animation for the audio file you have uploaded. And for everybody who wants to go more adult, there's even a room in here for adult conversations. I haven't checked it out, but you can look into that. Now, believe it or not, this is not even everything that full journey can do. For example, you can generate GIFs also. And what I like a lot about the platform is that this is kind of taking the full package, the full workflow into consideration and putting everything on one platform. And this really inspires you to do more and be more creative with AI. So I really want to see what you are doing with this ability. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.